Hello and welcome to the sixth episode of Django course. We are going to add this beautiful search bar to our project and we are also going to order all these posts by the uh, time. So the newest posts are in the beginning, the oldest ones are in the end. Now let's see how this works. So I'm going to search for a poem. It could be either in the title or the poet. So we're gonna have this complex search as well. Let's just look for why. Press enter and you can see six poems so far. And we have uh, all of them either why in the name or in the title. If you ask for, I don't know, K or SSH, you only find Shakespeare that is in the title. So this is what we're going to do today. And you already saw that we added all these beautiful uh, stylings using CK editor in the previous one. So you can see how beautiful everything is. All right, I am going to use bootstrap forms and you can go to bootstrap forms, then input groups, and I'm going to use this one here. So I'm just going to copy this part and go back and uh, let's, uh, yeah, since I've done it before, I'm going to actually remove them all. And I'm gonna show you that this was here previously. Okay, so we had this Jumbotron here and right after that we have a container. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create another container class and inside that I'm going to create a form element. The form element has an action attribute. It says where should you go uh, to process this form. We're going to process this form inside our home. So we use this template language of Django, curly braces, percentage signs, and then URL for, and you're going to use one uh, single quotes because you already have double here, and the URL is home. So basically just process it at home page. You can also have another method um, here, either post or get. So by default, it's gonna be get even if you don't mention it. So if you use post when you want to have a login form or a registration form where people are going to send sensitive data somewhere. But we use get requests for getting some simple things that are not very sensitive information. So now this is our form. Another very important step is that Django provides security for your forms via this token. So curly braces and percentage signs, CSRF underscore token. So this is basically something uh, that uh, provides security uh, against cross-site um, request forgery attacks. So you need to put this include this inside your forms as well. Okay, after that, we are gonna just paste, oops, not this one, where did it go? So let's go back to our forms here. Yes, and I'm going to paste it in here. And the only thing I'm gonna change is the name, which I'm gonna to change to look up poets. And that was the, uh, the field. Another thing is I'm going to give it a name so that I can identify this input field later. Let's just call it QP for query poem, poet, something like that. So this name is very important. We are going to use this name in our function to say, do a get request and get the values of QP. That is whatever the user inputs, we can access it using this name. Okay, I'm going to control S, save this and go back to our views. So. You saw that our, uh, okay, I'm going to also remove this part here as well. We're going to add it ourselves. Now you just saw that our posts were not ordered by uh, ID or time. We're gonna do that here, right after inside uh, your home uh, function, after the poem.objects.all, add this order underscore by and dash ID or dash PK, primary key. So this dash means that start from the the latest, that is something like minus, go from the, the end to the beginning, something like that. So it starts from the latest ID because Django assigns each poem an ID, one, two, three, four. 
Right, so it starts from four, then three, two, one. That is the order of your posts now. All right, what else? So now we're going to deal with our requests. That is the, the form. How are we going to deal with that? Well, we, what we are going to do, we are going to check if that uh, request has been made. That is someone submitted the form. So I'm going to say if, uh, well, not this one. Unfortunately, if request, yeah, that's better. So if request dot get, if that's a get request, and you are going to get or retrieve QP, let's also put a value, default value of none for it. So if it's not none, if this, uh, it, this uh, it's been submitted, um, and if it's not none, there's something in that search bar in the QP input, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say the just create a random value. And that value is going to be what is going to be. Let me make it simpler here. That value is going to be that get request. Grab me the QP because it's like a dictionary object now. So I'm going to get the value of QP, whatever the user has input. I'm going to save it inside this QP. Now what's going to happen is, what's going to happen is, I'm going to say, from now on, if the form has been submitted, poems, which used to be all the poems in our database, I'm going to say poems.filter. I'm going to filter those poems. I'm not going to show all of them. But on what basis? I'm going to say, okay, we had an author field in our database, right? In our models, we had author for the name of the poet. I'm going to say filter them based on the author, double underscore. If the author, I, meaning uh, insensitive case, doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase. If the name of the author contains QP, what the user inputs. If the user inputs are O, check if one of these poems, the name, the author of these poems contains RO. And, oops, not this one. And then poems from now on will be only that. Will be only that. So it's based on author only. Now I'm going to save this. And remember, poems by default, the poems that are available in the home page are all the poems. Unless a get request is made and something has been typed inside the search bar, then poems will be filtered based on that search bar. So the poems that you will see will be different and the counts, the number would be also different. Now let's go back and let's refresh. And now you see we have seven poems so far. Let's just search for R. You see only the ones where R is inside the name of the poet, the author will show up. And you can see two poems so far. Maybe we can move this one under right here. So let's do that. Go to our home.html and let's grab this p tag and put it right under forms. Okay, much better. Now you can see two poems so far. All right. And if we go normally, seven poems so far. Great. So I also want to check inside these titles as well. So what, when I say, for example, R Oh, I don't mean only inside the poets' names, but also inside the titles. So that's a complex kind of uh, query. So for this, we are going to use Q. Let's go to views. First, import this one from Django.db.models. Import Q. And now, instead of making this simple query, I'm going to set two conditions. I'm going to say Q. Now look at this. Title, the title of the poem, double underscore I contains QP. That is either the title of the poem contains that or this bar means or the author, not content. 
the author contains QP. So remember this Q. So this means or. If I say and, it means both of them should contain that. So let's just save this with and, and if I go back, I refresh, let's say R. So this title has R and the name also has R. But this one does not. So what is the reason? Let's go back and see. So author title. Okay, so actually it should work with this, I guess. Yes, that's how, how it works. So there is R here and R here only. So what about O? There is nothing, right? So E, yeah, with E we have E here, E here, E here and E here. Okay, so this works now with both. But if you want to say either of them, you're gonna use this bar and that is how it should work. So let's go back, refresh, and let's say Rob, and we get the only one which has Rob in it. All right, that was a very nice functionality we just added to our website. Thank you very much for watching and listening.